the only entries going into the property. This, this is a project that has been uh, cooking on the stove for many months. Okay. There's been lots of discussion, uh, lots of design revisions that have taken place, and this is where we're at now. Anybody on the board have any questions at this time? I have one question. Um, this is completely a result of um, action on part of the city, state, blah, 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 because they have right. to change the way the entrances. Correct. That entrance that. is actually Danny's property. Um, the hotel owners have an access easement through there that allows access to their property. That also includes signage rights. Hence the sign that's there at that entrance that gives direction to one of the hotels. Uh, because of that intersection being rebuilt, that sign being physically removed, um, they're having to put the sign back, but they want to put a different sign back, and that requires a variance to do that. Any other questions or discussions before we hear from possible that? Thank you very much, Mr. Park. Is there anyone here from any of the groups who would like to give us some additional information to ponder? Hi, my name is Mike Woolsey. I represent Remick Restaurants. It stands for Restaurant Real Estate Management Corporation. Uh, we're at 1750 North uh, Florida Manga Road in West Palm Beach, Florida. I'm just here to answer any questions that you might have. As uh, Mr. Martin said, this has been a long process in trying to negotiate the location of the entrance, the improvements, the, uh, well, it, it, there's a taking, but it's not, it's, it's not an adverse taking in terms of having to fight back and forth on it. The agreement has been made by all for these improvements. We feel that the improvements to the intersection not only make it a safer situation in the uh, commercial neighborhood, but also allows adequate traffic flow to and from the properties and across the properties uh, with a truck, a tri-party, if you will, uh, access easement. Uh, the sign that we request is that last one, uh, Matt, that uh, shows the five tenants on it. And uh, if you're not familiar with one of those, we have a franchise uh, called Breaking Grill and Wings that we hope to remodel the existing structure. We will not be expanding the structure in any way, but remodeling the inside and uh, bringing that concept to the area uh, once once the time is right. Uh, I believe we've, we've already been through a uh, site, um, through the development review committee. It really wasn't a site plan, but we've already been through that process once before, and it's been, I, I, I bet it's been two years ago, uh, so we'll probably have to do that again, but uh, again, that's totally within the interior of the structure, um, and I would entertain any questions uh, that you may have, and uh, thank you very much for allowing us to appear today. Okay, and the sign, this sign, according to the information, 27.5 total square feet, and you are Five feet, ten inches, or six feet. Eight. No, it's two inches. It's, it's a total of six feet. Six yes. feet tall. Yes, sir. The total of eight feet wide. That's correct, sir. It would be internal width. Yes. And, and those gray panels would remain gray panels. Six feet tall is taller than my car. How am I seeing around it? We are. We are outside the. Um, triangle of uh, uh, site far enough away from the uh, right of way, far enough from the corner. And I believe we're meeting code for all of those issues. The height of the sign, the distance from the roadway, the distance from the private driveway. The code yeah. requires that when you have a site that is or a sign that is between three feet and nine feet. That has to be at least 15 feet away from the physical intersection. In this area, you can see sort of a line that marks the spot. Keep in mind that the driveway that's there now is going to be you know, shifting further away to the east. Um, and so, the, what they're proposing is that it will be at least 15 feet away from the intersection. 
And it also has to be fine feedback from the right of the line. So it's and to preserve the that line of sight. And then city engineer, DOT, they're going to make it not infringe on line of sight for entrance and egress. Absolutely. I mean, that's a code requirement. That's not a variance they're seeking. They don't have to. They've got right. room. They're they going to meet all code except physical sight. Correct. And one thing that's not been said is you can kind of see there's some existing trees. Um, the trees, if you remember from on site, the branches have been pruned from the bottom. And that's why this sign is not going to be higher than what they propose. If it were to go higher, you could see it because of the trees. And then it wants to keep those trees, and keep those little branches trimmed, and have the monument sign visible underneath the trees. Okay. Any other questions or discussions? I just want to say I'm a total fan of signs that tell me where to get in there, and if they're all clumped together, I like that better. I hate having to go down the road and go, nope, 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 nope. So I like them when they're all, this is the driveway that you use for this thing. Now, the total of all signs for a parcel is directional signs to be 12 square feet. Is that right, Matt? Or right, that's what the code requires. The code requires, so now this, for option, a, which has five signs on it, it'd be 40 square feet of copy area. That's correct? Correct. Okay, so that's a lot more than 12. Now, is there any possibility? That's, that's not the one they're asking for. They're asking for number two. They're asking for C, which is yeah. that one right there. Which is 27. Right, I understand, but I'll bet you they'd like a, a large one if they could get it. Um, I'm just. Okay. Now, no, what I'm going to say, <laughs> the point is, there's two other directional signs closer to the highway for Comfort Suites and Denny's. Um, I see an opportunity here to clean up the signage in this little part of St. Augustine and take all four of those signs and put them into one sign. I don't really see why we need to have two directional signs for Denny's and Comfort Suites right next to each other on two roads that are so close each other. Um, would there be a possibility of that considering you know, getting rid of those two signs? Is that in their power? Is that in our power? To request, you know, clean up all four of those signs and put them into one larger sign. I'm Mike Williams uh, with West Company, Site 46 Electricity Sir, in Bob Austin. And to answer your question, basically, you know, there's two different answers. Uh, secondly, you might point out that Comfort Suites already has 12 square feet. What we're asking for is our interest, so to speak, is for the Holiday Express and the Comfort Suites, which the two combined basically is a hair less than 12 square feet. So as far as what our request is, we're not asking for it. The uh, National Indians, actually, in, in the uh, remodel and incorporate hurricane wings in there, naturally needs to be properly identified. Uh, you can back up some of us internally among ourselves can actually have a little bit of different opinion in regards to whether or whether or not the mobile needs to be on this particular sign also. Uh, it's personally my opinion that the mobile nationally already has an entrance sign. It already has a, uh, a price sign. It already has the, uh, it already has the, uh, uh, the canopy and such that's already properly identified. And the way the new entrance for example, the way it got repositioned is going to be basically diving straight into the pumps. Uh, my personal opinion is such that uh, if anybody entering going into the mobile kind of going against the grain in regards to their pump configuration. Um, actually, the mobile desires to be on here, and I guess Cam Rats to be so. But uh, that's pretty much, I mean, we're, we're not asking for any more than we presently got. But there is two drives, and actually, that's a very congested. A lot of times we miss the first drive. You know, we've got a pretty substantial investment back there with Holiday Express as well as the Comfort Suites. And actually, we actually is that case is under uh, the Dean's group, but actually, we, again, we have the, uh, the right title of interest in regards to the ingress and egress easements. And, and, and also, we share them on both sides. Okay. Any other questions? Yes, sir. So how, how did Mobile get in this game anyway? Uh, actually, it was a situation where 20th Street basically got repositioned to the west. 
But I mean, if you say them, they already have have the sign. And I didn't even think to look when I wrote down there. I didn't think to look down there. But it was initially offered to them um, along us to the the um, technology engineer. The, the, from the very very beginning of this, um, the silver bullet was to have cooperation amongst all of the um, uh, properties that are being served there, and mobile is very much part of that score. Matter of fact. It was mentioned that there's cross access agreements. And I believe that there's a cross access agreement though, where the mobile can come on to this, you know, come in there and vice versa. So basically, what you've done for over there is you've got like a little corporate park now going on, a little uh, commercial park, and you've got this this sign that signs all the things that have access through that intersection back in the day. So um, they were originally right to part of Also, one other thing I might add, if I might please. They, uh, uh, naturally, we all, the community, working in the best interest of the community ourselves, all the businesses that are in this particular area, and naturally, it's in the common interest of all of us to be prepared of where we're at there. So, pretty much, naturally, we have not asked anything of the community in regards to any compensation in regards to any shrinking of drives or anything else, but it was pretty much our. Our request to uh, basically uh, have this signage in there as compared to any type of compensation or anything else, because we feel that strongly in regards to identifying the, 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 the easements and access to the property. Okay, so and this is the sign you guys want. Yes, sir. That's all you want. So that's 15 square feet more than what's allowed by right. The variance for that sign would be 15 square feet. Right, so deleting the other two signs would kind of almost equal it out. Because that would be 11 square feet of sign. Let's put them all together in one sign. Uh, you're saying do away with the two directional signs on the west entrance for yes. the property. Again, what we've offered is doing away with a directional on the east route, which is 12 square feet, which is a little more than what we would be positioned on this particular side. Is the entrance on the west side also Denny's, or is that Williams? No, it's, it's both property owners, Williams and Bradley. So both, both entrances are co-owned. No, the western entrance is co and the eastern entrance is by easement agreement, by, by access easement agreement. Right, the, the eastern entrance, if you get technical right down to it, belongs to Denny's, but there's an allowance for the other people to use that entrance. That's correct. The western entrance is co-owned by Denny's and Williams Investment. That's correct, sir. Mr. Chairman, there is the last page of the packet is a property survey that shows the property lines in relation to the two entrances. The very last page. Unless there's been a change in the property lines, that western entrance, the driveway entrance itself is on the Dennis property, but there is an easement that's used by the hotel properties. Yep. Okay, so we have any other questions, any other discussions? Yes? Oh, again. Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me, my name is John Williams. And I'm the old man of the Williams Investment Company. And uh, what we would like to say is, of course, is the one in the room that knows me, know that I am an advertiser, and that's why I'm on every state. Because you have to direct people. If you don't direct people, you do have a deep red tangent. That's why I'm communicating. First of all, I'd say anything else would be this has all been agreed by some property owners and people of interest on this paper and this interchange in the community spending a lot of money on Twin Street, which is well spent, thinking from a, a developer standpoint. 
the engineering department and, and biological is working very diligently on the realignment of the twin street to the middle of all parties involved. Williams investment has interest on both sides of the street through property and easement. The area that we're speaking of, we we built the mobile power junction that we removed. That was a uh, 80 unit property. We removed it and built 180 unit comfort suites, holiday and fresh. The east entrance <coughs> is on the by land by Williams and part of the, I mean, the west entrance is owned by land for us and the dentist group. We have common egress ingress there. Common egress and ingress on land on the west eastern drive owned by dentists. I don't want to be repetition, but it is simplified and easier. We have easements very well on parking and driveways. If we put our investment of 180 current rooms back to the rear of this property, there was a I won't call it a Y drive in, very accessible. So from there, uh, that's how we made the investment that we made by with the two drives. And uh, we don't know what the future will be to the Eastern Drive, but we do have an entrance sign as well as an ID sign for the Holiday Inn Express and Comfort Suite. As the development engineering as well as zoning has done a very my opinion is that both are very balanced job on, on Twin Street for working for all parties. We are losing the, the so-called quiet drive to the center island and going to one drive. <clears throat> so we are asking that actually whatever is approved, which we personally request, Plan B, which Mr. Weaver Fuel might do. We think, uh, I'm spoken speaking from the developer's standpoint, being in the gasoline business and whether hotels and restaurants and so forth, up and down interstate, plan B fits all parties involved. It gives the maximum footage that we're asking for, we share it equally with the dentist group, meaning the hurricane wing system to, to be a new go work as one of the responsibilities today. We're asking for plan B which we would share 50% of that sign. Yeah, I thought well, you wanted a bigger sign. We want a bigger sign. Oh, <laughs> the truth. I mean, really and truly, it, it's, it's very advantageous. If entrance to properties wouldn't, wasn't really important to, to everyone, the community wouldn't see the need to, to do in the realignment of, of the Twin Street for all the developments going in. And folks, let's be proud that, that in North, Florida, South Georgia's got the number one exit, the number exit 18. We have two properties on that exit hotel and coming on two more hotels within the next. I don't want to be repetition, but we'll be aggravating you guys, which girls, which we apologize for that quickly on the other, on heights on the other side of the road. As we are regarding the old King of the Road and try and bring it back to life again is our intent. So we ask for plan B, we want to share 50% of the ID signs there. <laughs> Mobile has a county very high rep, and it has a street sign with a changeable neon letter price on it, as well as the dispenser with gas and very, very visible. So personally, as a promoter, <clears throat> we, whatever you approve, all we ask is 50% of it, because we do have the largest uh, uh, it's a pretty strong investment, 180 current new rooms to the rear. Okay. I have a question. Um, if Mobile doesn't have their name on this monument, will it be clear to a driver coming off the exit that this traffic signal will be the place where they will turn to right to go into the Mobile Station? To address that, the <coughs> Mobile Drive to the gas station is being relocated and go and center up the island, which is very advantageous. Was that a yes or a no? Was it clear to somebody <laughs> coming off the edge? Very clear. Very defined. 
very filthy. So if there's not a mobile sign on the monument, they'll still know that this is where the mobile station turn is. Very strong. It's very strong with it. I wish we had done my due diligence and brought a picture. Standing out on the street, the end of the canopy is strong mobile. You're looking at the island. You're looking at the two entrances. You're looking at the, what we call the street marking sign. So it's very well, and, and again, all of this has been hammered out real heavily and very courteous, but we say, and very thorough with, with zoning as well as engineering. It's, it's, it's a sizable project when it's, uh, and we, we're involved because we have investments. I've got a question. <clears throat> what is uh, y'all's conversation with Hinton Oil Company, Stephanie Hinton? What, she, what does she say about that? Does she want to be on the side? One time yes, one time no. <laughs> Come on, and, you know it's a freebie, so why not? Yeah, but, but, but what I mean, you're but you're more talking about here that we have to turn interest. Zero, there are a lot of interest. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, Robert. Sure. Scott Wall, let me let me address you this way: speaking in gasoline business for 62 years, you're just a nice to go customer. You're a customer. Oh, it's anybody is, and. Uh, you're an ID as the gas station is there. It is everything that's happening is for the benefit of all of us. And we have hammered it out for the rich. And fewer direction signs you have on a sign, the better you are. If we was coming up 25, 30 foot high, one, one two, three, four, like that, that's very good. But when you're consolidating, my experience in advertising, we are also in the billboard and but many electronic signs up and down the interstate. And fewer things, messages that you put on any sign, the stronger you are. But it is no way we could, the gas station at all, 